In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can edit your TikTok videos inside Adobe Premiere Pro. By the way, if you're new here, then hello. My name is Kelsey and this channel focuses on video production, video editing, and all things about being a creative freelancer. So if you wanna see more content and videos based around those topics, then consider subscribing to the channel and watching more videos. To give you a heads up, this video is going to be split into four main sections. In the first section, I'm going to be going over and explaining the required video aspect ratio for your TikToks. In the second section of this video, I'll be explaining and demonstrating some basic video editing functions. And this includes things such as importing footage, trimming your clips, color grading and adjusting the audio for your video. In the third section of this video, I'll be going over how you can export your videos for TikTok. And in the fourth and final section of this video, I'm going to be giving you some top tips and little secrets that you can use to make sure that you're creating the best possible quality TikToks that you could probably publish. All of these sections will be labeled on this video. There'll also be timestamps in the description box as well. So if you wanted to jump ahead to different sections, then you could do it using that as well. Anyway, I've rambled enough, let's get into the video. So as mentioned in the first section, I'm gonna be going over aspect ratio. Now for anyone who doesn't know, aspect ratio refers to the proportional relationship between an image's or a video's height and width. Now aspect ratios are really, really important to understand when you're creating content for TikTok because TikTok favors vertical videos. So the first thing that you need to do before you even jump into the editing suite is to make sure that you film your videos vertically instead of horizontally. After you've filmed your video vertically, then it's time to start editing. So to begin with, the first thing that you need to do is to set your sequence to be in the same aspect ratio that is compatible with TikTok. Now, as TikTok favors vertical video, your aspect ratio will need to match a nine by 16 format. Now to do this in Premiere Pro, you should go to file, new, and then sequence. And then this will open up a little pop-up window and you can navigate your way to the settings tab and then you can adjust the width and the height of your sequence. For TikTok, you'll need to change the editing mode to be custom, and then you'll need to change the dimensions so that it is 1080 for the width and then 1920 for the height. And that basically means that your horizontal classic 16 by nine video will be rotated to have a nine by 16 format. Then you can scroll down and then you can save this preset at the bottom and then label it TikTok so that when you go to edit another TikTok, you've already got that preset saved. So now you'll see a video sequence and it will be in the same vertical format that you see on TikTok. Now we have all of our sequence set up. In the next section, I'm gonna be going over how you can use some basic video editing functions to help edit your videos. Okay, so firstly, we'll need to import our footage and we can do this by going to file and then import, and then selecting the clip that you want to edit. But once that's all loaded, you can just drag your clip onto the timeline and it will appear just like this. So to make adjustments to the size and the position of your video, you'll have to navigate your way to the effects control panel. And this is normally in the top left-hand corner of your workspace. And then you can just adjust these settings here to make sure that your video is center of the frame. Now I would advise to make sure that your clip fills the entirety of the frame and that you're centralized just because it's a lot more appealing for when people are looking at it on TikTok. If there's any part of the video that you want to get rid of and you want to delete, then you can either use this erase tool here or you can use a shortcut C on your keyboard and you can trim parts of the video and section it up so that you can select them and then backspace them to delete those parts of the clip. So now that you've trimmed those parts of the video and you're happy with the duration of the clip, then it's time to change how it looks visually. So in order to color correct or to color grade your clip to adjust some of the colors that you see, you can just go over to the Lumetri color tab and you can get that by going to window and then clicking this right here. And this will bring up a panel on the right hand side of your workspace where you can go through and adjust some of the settings. But one thing to note about color correction and color grading, it is personal preference. So you can just go in, have a play around and see what works best for your clip and see what you're vibing with. So now that we've adjusted some of the colors in our clip and we're happy with how it looks visually, it's now time to focus on the audio. So normally if you're filming on a mirrorless camera or an iPhone camera, then the audio can appear to be quite quiet. So to change this and to up the decibels a little bit, you can select your clip right click and then go to audio gain 
and then you can set in a few numbers that will help boost the decibels of your clip. And then now that will change the volume of your clip. Generally though, we want our audio to be hitting 12 and 6 on the audio levels here, because if you do anything other than that, and then this bar goes to red, then you'll normally be clipping and it will sometimes distort your audio, which we definitely don't want. So make sure that your audio levels here are hitting either 6 or 12. Now that our video is edited, we move on to section three of this video, which is all about how you can export your video properly so that it is truly optimized for TikTok and its platform. So to ensure that your video is exported in the best possible quality, you should go to File, Export Media, and then normally it will bring up a tab, but if you've got the latest version of Premiere Pro, then it will just take you to this little workspace here. But regardless of how your Premiere looks, if it has a pop-up window or if it takes you to the screen, all of the settings will be the same. So you just have to copy these settings into your version of Premiere and it will work completely the same. So make sure you have match sequence settings clicked and then you change your export preset to adaptive high bit rate. And then make sure that you have the maximum bit rate depth clicked and quality too. Now it is worth noting that TikTok does compress your videos. So it is important to export your video at the right bit rate to preserve some of that good quality. And if you want to learn more about video bitrate and you want to know what on earth I'm talking about, then you can check out my latest video, which is all about video bitrate and video resolution. And I'll leave it linked somewhere on the screen now so you can go check that out if you so wish. And we also want to navigate our way down here and then click the bitrate to encode at VBR one pass and then set our maximum bitrate to export at 15 megabits per second. So exporting at 15 megabits per second will basically mean that when you upload it onto TikTok that it won't really compress your video as much as it would do if you say exported at like 50 megabits per second. So after you've changed all of these settings, you can now go ahead and export your video and that should be all done. So when it comes to creating content for TikTok, there are a few little top tips or secrets that I have that you'll be able to implement to make sure that you're creating the best possible quality that you can be. Now tip number one is to be mindful of TikTok's screen guidelines. Now as it stands at the moment, TikTok take up a lot of their lower screen space with text and icons. Therefore, it is wise to keep note of this when you're creating content for TikTok because any text, images, or any icons or anything that you put in the lower screen will be unreadable for your audiences. So keep these guidelines in mind and make sure to put all of your text or your icons or anything that you want the audience to see central in the middle of the screen just so nothing gets cropped or anything like that. Now the second top tip that I have is to keep your videos short and snappy. So the whole reason for TikTok's success is because of the quick paced nature of the videos on its platform. Therefore the more snappy, relatable and impactful you make your content and your TikToks the better. People just don't have the time these days to be watching really long videos. And I can imagine now you're probably getting bored of this video as well. So if you create a longer video on TikTok, people are gonna get bored and then just scroll off. So keep it short and straight to the point. Top tip number three is to make sure that you have your high quality uploads toggled on in your TikTok app. This allows your video to be uploaded at the best possible quality that it can be. And that means when your video uploads that it will be better quality than most of the videos that you see on its platform. So that's it. That's how you can edit a TikTok inside Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned in this video, whether it's regarding editing or TikTok itself, then you can leave those comments or those questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to help you guys out and answer them when I can. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, then consider liking the video and if you wanna see more content and more of my face, then you can consider subscribing as well. If you don't, I fully understand. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, which I'm sure will be very soon. Maybe we'll just see.